Hi, this is Nick with DCM Bio. Today I'm going to be going over how to align a biotech stacker to your biotech washer. If you don't feel comfortable performing any of these steps on your own, feel free to reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com or check out our website, dcmbio.com. The first step in aligning a biostack to your pl biotech plate washer is you'll need to assemble your tools. We'll need a flathead screwdriver, a standard 96 well plate, the mounting kit for the biostack, which will vary depending on whether it's a biostack 2, 3, 4, or a first gen, based on wrist position, which we will touch on later. Uh, and finally, the biostack itself. Once the mounting plate is in place underneath the plate washer, you'll take your biostack, physically place it in the positioning on the mount plate. Once that's done, go ahead and turn on the biostack to initialize it. While that's running, make sure that you have your stacks. We'll need these later for the alignment itself. After the bio stack is homed, you can turn on the plate washer. We'll need this to run the utility. From this position, you can get a basic idea as to how the gripper is aligned to the plate carrier. We want to try to get it as close as we can from this height before we get down to the actual teaching of the position. That can be done by moving the stacker back and forth across the mount position by loosening the two flathead screws on either side of the stacker. To access the BioStack alignment utility, we'll have to go into the Utilities menu, Setup option, scroll over to More, and BioStack. From here we have a Config, Align, and Verify. Configuration allows us to set the Biotech washer's state, should it manually load plates or should we use the BioStack to load plates. Alignment is what we'll go through in just a moment, and Verify is a final verification check just to check the plate positioning. So open the Alignment option. And here we've got three options, home, see, pause, and save. It's a good idea to home the bio stack again before you teach the new position, which is see, pause. Once everything is homed, hit the see, pause option, and the gripper will open. At this point, we'll take our microplate, install it onto the plate carrier. From here, we need to bring the gripper down and teach it where the plate position is. We have step options in 1, 20, or 400 steps in both positive and negative. Positive, in this situation, being closer to the plate carrier. I recommend starting by going down two 400 steps. At this point, you can take a look from the top of the gripper and see how we're aligned to the plate as it is. Try to fine-tune the position by physically moving the stacker so that the gripper has even spacing on both sides and is more or less centered with the grooves on either side of the plate carrier. Once you're confident in that position, continue stepping down in 20s. Our goal here is to leave about a millimeter of space underneath the bottom of the plate so that the gripper has a little bit of room for error. If you feel you've gone too far, simply change to the negative option and step up in one until you've reached a good position for gripping the plate. When you're confident in your position, hit the previous screen button and save the C position. It'll ask you to confirm it Press yes. The stacker will home and you'll be ready to verify that position. At this point, we'll need our plate stacks, both the output and the input. We'll take our test plate, load it into the input, and lock them down. Here we'll use the verify utility. 
confirming that a plate is on the in stack, the stacker itself is going to load a plate and attempt to place it on the plate carrier for the washer. If we've done everything correct at this point, it'll place it perfectly and we'll be able to reload back into the output stack. As you can see, we had a slight jump there, so we'll need to do the alignment again. Once you've fine-tuned the physical alignment of the stacker, run one last verify, just to ensure that your positioning is correct. Excellent. At this step, we're ready to lock down the mounting plate. The two flathead screws on either side of the bio stack will hold that plate relative to the washer's plate. This will keep everything from shifting around and hold our saved position. Once the plate is secured in place, it's a good idea to run one more verify just to make sure that you didn't shift anything around. Now our bio stack is ready to use. We'll simply change one more setting to tell the washer to utilize the bio stack from ongoing protocols, and it's all set. Even with the bio stack installed, you can choose to load plates manually if you have a one-off or simply don't want to wait for it. These options exist in the bio stack utilities menu under the config option. Manual will allow you to manually load plates. BioStack will default to using the BioStack for all upcoming protocols. You are all set to automate your systems. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. To see additional how to lab automation videos and to check out our service options, visit dcmbio.com. If you have more in depth questions or need to contact us about servicing your equipment, send an email to service at dcmbio.com. You can find links to our LinkedIn, email, and website below in the description.